If you haven't tried one of Filbert's 18 flavors of soda, you're in for a real treat. They've been making it since 1926, right here in Chicago's Bridgeport neighborhood. Filbert started 1926. My grandfather, his name was Charles Filbert, started it. Um, he ran the uh, Filbert's uh, Ripper up until 1976 when he passed away. Then my dad took over the company. And then uh, my dad ran it until 1988. That's when I bought it. Although Filbert's started off making beer, during Prohibition, they, along with many other breweries, converted their operation to root beer production. And as a result, sales soared. Well, root beer was very popular. It was the number one soft drink in the country back in the 20s and 30s, um, up probably until the early to mid 40s when the big cola companies started taking over. Um, at one time, you could get Filbert's root beer on draft almost in any bar throughout the city, no matter if it was on the north side or south side. Back in 1993, Ron bought Newport Beverages and took over their operation on South Ashland Avenue. Along with the building and a bottling machine, Ron also got Newport's 16 soda flavors. Now, with the old-time root beer and a newly added sparkling water, Filbert's makes and bottles 18 different flavors of soda. We've got the cola, root beer, diet root beer, ginger ale, grape, pineapple, peach, watermelon, black cherry, blue raspberry, cream soda, sparkling water. We've got the, um, hmm, I know I said grape, orange. They also make cherry, grapefruit, fruit punch, strawberry, lime, and one carryover from the old days. Hello, this is my favorite, the lemon lime, Mr. Newport. <laughs> it's the best one. But with all of these flavors, Filbert's is still known for its root beer. After all, this recipe has lasted nearly a century. We finally had to ask Ron, what made Filbert special? What is his secret? Well, the secret is having a very good, having a good extract, which we have. I'm not gonna go into detail on what that is. But um, we're making the root beer the same way we've been making it for the last 70 years here at Fulbert's or Newport's. We've been bottling it the same. It's the same process. Nothing has changed other than using a throwaway bottle. So just how do they make all of this delicious soda? Ron showed us the process. We're upstairs in the mixing room where all of the root beer and all of the 17 flavors of soda are mixed right in this teeny tiny little room. Yes, it is. So it's a very small room. We have our mixing tanks in here. This is where we draw our sugar up. We, we, we blend it with the water to get our sweetness. And then I transfer it into these other tanks along the wall here and uh, we, we, we mix our flavors. After adding a few other ingredients, Ron hooks the tanks to a hose that runs to the bottling room. He opens the valve and heads back downstairs to complete the process. We were just upstairs and we mixed the soda, so now we need to put it in a bottle. Correct. So how do we do this? Well, we start right here. We take the bottles off the pallet. We put them on the unit here. It runs right through here. We have fresh water rinse. And then what it does, comes along the line here goes on to the conveyor right here, and then it comes around the corner there, feeds its way down to the filler here. The mixing tanks are right upstairs, gravity fed down into the syruper. What it does, it'll throw a shot of syrup into the bottle, spin into the unit there, it'll go around, get filled with sparkling water, or, or seltzer water, it'll come out, get capped right here, spin its way around, down the conveyor here, and then, this is a tumbler, that is what mixes it. And then when it comes off of that, it'll feed into our labeler, which labels the, labels the bottle. We hand pack it at the end here, and then we put it through our taping machine. And that's the, that's, that's the end, end product, is when it gets taped, down the conveyor, and stacked. For such a small operation, Filberts can really crank it out. Ron and his crew bottle about 60,000 cases a year out of this location. Those cases are then delivered all throughout the Chicagoland area. We sell mostly to um, your small mom and pop type stores, coffee shops, um, small eateries, pizza parlors, uh, bars, lounges. We have about 300 accounts throughout the Chicago near metropolitan area. 
Throughout all the changes in American society in general, and the soft drink industry in particular, Filbert's has overcome it all to stand as only one of two bottling companies remaining in Chicago. So that begs the question, what keeps Ron and his crew going? I've always said it's brute force and ignorance, but I, probably the wrong thing to say, but we, we take pride in what we're doing. We enjoy what we're doing. I've, I've been in this business since I was 12. Um, I've worked alongside my dad all them years, and that's the main thing, I enjoy doing it. Well, here we are at the end of the bottling line, and I'm ready for a true taste test of Filbert's Old Time Draft Root Beer. Okay, well, let me grab a couple bottles for us. I will open up one for you, Katie. Thank you. And I'll get one for myself. Okay, here we go. Okay. Mmm. Now that is real root beer. Yes, it is. Well, Ron, cheers to 81 more years. Well, cheers. Thank you.